Artemis moon mission from the head of NASA during today's State of NASA address. The first crewed Artemis mission is set to happen in 2024, with the crew actually landing on the moon in 2026 and then returning every year for the next 10 years. The first crew will be launched later this year and will include a woman and person of color. NASA also says it wants to put humans on Mars by 2040. Now, before NASA goes back to the moon, it's looking to the last time that we were there for help. That's right. So um, this month, researchers at the Johnson Space Center in Houston opened one of the last Apollo containers. And what they found inside is critical for future moon missions. ABC 13's Nick Natario is live in the newsroom to explain this one, Nick. Well, they figured opening a moon sample, they would find moon dust and moon rocks. Sure enough, they did, but they were also hoping to find moon gases. And believe this, after 50 years, it was there. A discovery that could play a big role as we go back to the moon. Nearly 50 years has passed since astronauts last stepped foot on the moon. The last person on the moon was Gene Cernan. About a decade ago, he exclusively talked with ABC 13 about the Apollo 17 mission. So I looked down at their last footprint and I said, I'm not coming this way again. And it got a little nostalgic. I, I, I said, someone will, but it won't be me. Roger, that's a good sight. That someone could be in a matter of years. NASA's preparing to go back to the moon, a mission Cernan told us should happen. Curiosity is the essence of human existence. Who are we? Where are we? Where are we going? Where are you? Thanks to Cernan, NASA may soon be able to answer the question of how the moon was formed. It's due to the sample he collected that's been stored inside the lunar vault at the Johnson Space Center. It was sealed for 50 years. That changed this month. Excitement and relief. Super, super <laughs> exciting, yeah. NASA waited 50 years for technology to develop so researchers could determine what gases were inside. Now they're able to determine what was on the moon 50 years ago. When astronauts go back in a few years, they'll bring back new samples with new gases. It helps us understand what is from the moon and what is from the outside and how the moon really formed. Researchers don't know exactly what they found yet. It'll take a few weeks and we'll get the first first cut of results and then a few more months after that until they get the, the really truly detailed results. Columbia, this is Houston reading you loud and clear over findings that'll be key when astronauts return to the moon, a contribution Cernan dreamed about when he was on the lunar surface 50 years ago. We can't predict discovery, and that's the reason, if there's no other reason to go back to the moon, to me that's justifiable enough reason to do it, to inspire our young kids to dream once again. Just incredible that they were able to discover those gases after 50 years. So when we go back to the moon, the plan for Artemis is to go to the South Pole. And as you may guess it, yes, it's very cold at the South Pole, which means it's harder for gases to escape. This should give researchers a good comparison to what was found 50 years ago in that Apollo 17 sample. Hopefully, researchers will get their hands on those samples in the next four years. Live in the newsroom, Nick Notario, ABC 13 Eyewitness News.